Two weeks ago, we listened to Justin Timberlake's new album, Everything I Thought It Was. And now we're going to give you our thoughts on it. So both of us are going to give our top three songs off the album. Yep. And an overview of the album at the end. So. So without further ado, let's get into it. My third favorite song was Selfish. It was the first single off the album. First thing we heard. First thing I had heard from Justin yeah. in a couple years. Um, I just love the vibe. It starts on the Phil Collins type of mm, yeah. percussion kind of going there. And then once that beat drops in, um, Lewis Bell co-produced it as well as Circuit. Circuit's worked with like The Weeknd, T-Pain, Britney Spears, tons of huge pop artists. That just really hooked me in from the second I heard it. Totally. Really ready for the album after that. Yeah, that was a good surprise whenever we listened to that. Uh, just, I was ready for some more JT after that for sure. Um, I'll do my number three, but I kind of cheated because it was so hard to choose just three songs on this. I mean, there's 18 tracks yes. and there's several bangers. So I just want to give a shout out to a few. You know, Paradise, I really wanted to be in my top three. Love that song. Love their harmonies. Love just, it's just a solid pop song. Like, has totally. all the elements especially like that breakout at the end when it's mostly their harmonies with barely any music and mm, it's tasty. Using the voice as an instrument, man. Yeah. Love it. So loved hearing them. So I got to shout that out. And then I also love the closing track. I mean, he Amazing. sounds different in the way he sings it, but I really love the topic of it, you know, self-love kind of being honest with himself about making mistakes and, you know, not hating yourself for those mistakes and trying to grow from those. So I just love that message and a perfect way to end, end the album. Totally. So then my actual top three is No Angels, which is also track number three. Love the production on that. Groovy. It's got that. Love the music video. Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh, it's awesome. Cool. You got to check that out. Yeah. I just love everything about it. It's got a groove, awesome hook. Um, and then, you know, I'm a sucker for vocal effects. Whenever he starts like transitioning in some really of auto tune cool. with the vocoder, see ya. Yeah, that was super cool. Yeah. All right, switch to number two then. Oh, uh, my number two, I feel like I kind of followed the singles on this, but my number two is Drown. Once again, whenever we listened to that, when I heard it, it just took me right back to the Justified era. It felt like a Timbaland beat. Um, the sample, I'm still just suck, such a sucker for the way that that song opens, just gets me every time. Dude, so good. I really like the glitchy drums, like mm -hmm. they kind of hit off beat the whole time and just that falsetto through the chorus. Even though it's not my number one, it's probably my most played off the album. Okay, I can relate to that because that is my number one. So I'll talk a little bit about that whenever it's my turn. Okay. Cool. So my number two, Technicolor. That's my number one. <laughs> Dang. So we both kind of like the same ones. We flip flop there. Really cool. Yeah. Technicolor, man. Seven minute journey. Seven minutes, brother. Yeah. But the like first three minutes is just like kind of a slow R&B jam, intimate. It's so not Timbaland, even though yeah. Timbaland produced it. And that's why I love when it switches up mm -hmm. because then it's still not really Timbaland, but it's like he should, he still flexes. Like I'm still, I still got this. Yeah. No, that switch up. Amazing. <laughs> so good. And then the hook with it. Mm. Incredible. Mm. I hear it in my head right now. So yeah, like I said, my number one is drown. Just from the moment I heard that in our First listen Friday when we heard man. that, man, it just captivated me. And I had that on repeat and played it in the ground. I didn't even play it in the ground. I'm still playing it in the ground. Me too. <laughs> the production, it's just so warm. There's so many things. I don't know. His it's vocals. Just perfect. Oh my gosh. The intro. Oh, it's immaculate. It is. Before we wrap up, I wanted to say too, um, you know, in our, in our initial video, I felt like the song or excuse me, that the album was too long. Uh, I definitely have changed my tune there. A lot of songs have grown on me quite a bit. The whole album as a whole is just beautifully produced. Uh, it's just such an amazing pop. Like he could end his career on this note. Be, that could yeah. be his last album. For and sure. I'd be super, super happy. The fact that he brought in, you know, NSYNC and stuff like that, went back to his roots, um, I thought was really awesome. And that is true. I hope we also... Get some more singles from this. I hope we get a music video for Drown. That's what we need yeah. so bad. We need a dope music video mm. for Drown. Yep. But yeah, that pretty much sums up how I felt about the album. Same you got anything here. else? Nope. 
No. I'm just... Alrighty. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> well, that pretty much sums up how I feel about the album. You got anything else? <clears throat> we're good. We, we're just going to clip up what Well, we that pretty much sums up how I feel about the album. You got anything else? All right, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>